everybody, it's Jessica back again. Uh, this time I'm here to show you some of the things that we were working on for the last few weeks. Uh, we like to take walks up to the pet store quite often. They really enjoy going up and seeing the fish and the cats and the guinea pigs and birds and sometimes they have snakes and reptiles. Um, so we went up one time and I took pictures and went and developed them for them. And based on the pictures, we ended up creating some art based on the colors and based on the fish. Um, we ended up taking pictures of the goldfish and of the neon fish. And we used different materials to recreate the colors based on in these pictures. So in the pink neon color, we used feathers to you, um, and we used different colors with the feathers. So we used some pink and some blue. Um, and I think there was a bit of yellow in there as well. Um, and we ended up dipping our feather into the paint and painting quite some interesting pictures. They really enjoyed painting with the feathers. It was a different material to manipulate. Um, and as we painted with the feathers, we would say swish, 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 or tap, tap, tap to get some language skills added into the art as well. We also talked about the colors, like I'm painting with pink or I'm painting with blue. Um, we also, the next day, ended up making the goldfish picture and we used a rolling um, paint to roll on some blue paint and then we used a cork to tap on the orange to represent the goldfish. So as we paint, we would say roll, 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 or we'd say blue, 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 or, and then as we were tapping with the orange cork, we would say tap, 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 or fish, or orange, just to get some more language out as well, and to get some colors added in as well. So, um, so much can be added to your art that people don't realize that it's just not a painting. You can pull out so many different developmental skills, keep them interested in learning. So I also wanna show you something that we added. I ended up adding a tree um, into the basement and it is a family, it was a family tree, but I took down the pictures because I didn't want to post the pictures up. Um, but what we added to our family tree were animals from the pet store. We also ended up going into an encyclopedia and finding a real picture of a snake. They were so interested in this picture, I ended up um, copying it off and laminating it and adding it to a tree. And then we made our own snake out of rings um, to show the real snake and our snake that we made. We also took pictures of the fish at the pet store, I'm sorry, the birds at the pet store, um, and we added them to the tree, and then we made our own birds out of our handprints. And one day they started talking about monkeys just out of nowhere. They enjoyed monkeys. I guess because I hung up the tree, they said monkeys swing in trees. So I ended up making handprint monkeys as well. Um, they really, really enjoyed this, and they just kept giving me so much to work with that we just kept going along with it. Um, and we just kept adding more to the tree. So there's so much you can do when you go out in your community and find different things and different interests based on what you find and printing pictures. Um, yeah, just go with the flow. It's so, it's so much, so much fun. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you can create something based on your community stuff as well.